Salutation, spooks, spirits, and specters, and welcome back to Clanad, Katomi's Route, where everybody is hanging out at the Drama Club room once again, because hey, we're all friends here, right? We are all friends here. As you can see, I'm enjoying this elegant afternoon. What's that supposed to mean? Tell me specifically how I'm supposed to do that. Fine. The moment I say that, Kyo looks surprised. It's okay once in a while. I stretch out my arm and stand up from the chair. Clunk, 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 clunk. I get five juice boxes and carry them back down the hallway. If Sunohara sees me, I know he'll give me crap for this. After thinking about it, I'm actually surprised to find that I don't mind doing this. I feel like I was more on edge when I first started third year. That must mean I've changed. Furukawa, Kyo, Fujibayashi, and Kitomi. It's only the third day since that group started meeting in the drama club room. Aside from Furukawa, none of the others are even drama club members. An outside observer wouldn't have any idea what kind of group this is. Things always change like that, I think. Rather than wait for things to change on their own, you have to take matters into your own hands. Otherwise, things will never change for the better. As I approach the drama club room, I barely just noticed that the change is in the window here. <laughs> Denoting that we went up we went up some floors. I just barely noticed like why did it look like it changed but it does looks very the same cuz we went up the third floor. I hear a noise. A ticklish yet Familiar noise. A violin? I stop and listen. I don't hear anything. Maybe it was my imagination. Rattle, rattle. Whoa! The door opens on its own. Ah, Okazaki kun, Okaeri nasai. It's just Fujibayashi opening the door. Osoi. How can you be late from coming back with beverages? Don't say that. I came straight back. What am I? Some kid lost while running an errand? I usually am able to carry one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I'm usually able to carry about nine beverages on my own, provided they're in cans or they're they're in containers and not cups. The violin. Can you hear that? Everyone stops talking and listens to the sound coming from beyond the open door. No? It sounds like it's coming from another club room. 
I heard a noise earlier, but now I can hear an actual tune. It sounds like a piece from a famous classical tune. The melody flows smoothly. Beats me. I notice that Katomi is acting strangely. She's completely motionless and concentrating on the faraway sound. Katomi? She suddenly stands up and darts off like a rabbit. Hey! I run after the hypnotized Katomi. The sound of the violin is coming from inside a club room. Katomi opens the door without hesitation and heads in. I have no choice but to follow her. I glance up and find a plate that reads Choral Club above the door. It must have been found it must have been founded recently since the inside doesn't look much different from a regular classroom. A second year girl is standing in the middle of the room. She's staring at Katomi while holding her violin. There are two other second year girls in the room for a total of three. Oh, did it? Katomi turns to me looking bewitched. It seems like she doesn't know why she ran all the way here. Oh, no. The second year holding the violin cautiously opens her mouth. <laughs> My, aren't you just a regular Gary Oak? You're asking for too much, and stop using that comedian's jokes. <coughs> Kyo arrives late. Behind her are Fujibayashi and Furukawa craning their necks to see inside. もしかしたら音うるさかったですかうんうん。別にうるさかったわけじゃないから。Kyo quickly tries to ease of the situation. あの、すごく上手だったです。she smiles bashfully. The other Coral Club members are still nervous. I don't blame them. A bunch of random third years just barged into their club. And the cause of all the commotion? Violin. She points at it like a child. Yeah, it's a violin. でも合唱部ってバイオリンなんて使うんだ。いえ、そうじゃないんです。このバイオリン音楽室に置きっぱなしにされていたそうなんです。卒業した音楽部員が置いていったらしいんですが。それで音楽部の知り合いから価値のあるものなのか調べてほしいって言われたんです。うーん、詳しいんだ、そういうの。それほどでもないですけど、少しくらいは。で、高いの、それ。we're not going to thieve it, just to hawk it. I knew you'd ask. Now that she mentions it, I notice that the violin is covered in dust and discolored in more than a few spots.
できれば修理してちゃんと使ってあげてほしいと思うんですが While she's talking, Katomi continues to stare fixedly at the violin. Her sense of curiosity is stronger than most people's, but I've never seen her so interested in something. You've never seen a violin before? Hmm? Ano, you can tell me just a little bit more? There's just something about the I know. How did it happen to die? I know. Just, just, just the I know, and then the large silence that follows that cracks me up. I don't know why. I just think it's just kind of funny. It just. But I guess it's no different than like um. Okay, how's it going? <laughs> she holds the O. I got distracted by that. So, um, we're gonna end the video now. And, um, thank you all very much for watching. And, um, ciao for now. Ciao for now.